four. Okay, so um, sorry for the technical difficulties, but I don't know what happened. But um, if uh, you can help anybody, then awesome. But basically, what I wanted to share with you guys today, I know several of you have reached out to me and have asked me about the graphics. Um, so first of all, I am not going to mute everybody right now, just a few housekeeping things because I want you guys to be able to interact and tell me um, if you know you have a question in a particular part that we're talking about uh, but if I need to mute somebody I will um, so just keep that in mind so everybody can hear if you um, if it's loud where you're at make sure you mute yourself and then um, unmute if you have a question so why do I do my graphics so basically it's super important um, you don't know until I guess, you know, uh, in the beginning, I used a lot of, of other people's stuff, you know, even till now, sometimes, you know, you're in a rush and you copy and paste somebody's stuff and, um, or you share it, which you guys, you, you know, how many times I told you about that? You shouldn't share a post because you're actually giving someone else credit, um, instead of you actually creating your post. Um, the reason I do graphics is because, um, we joined an actual, um, and I say we as Carrie and myself, uh, um, social media mentoring program. And the main thing with creating your own graphics is you are setting yourself apart. You are um, branding yourself. So you want to make sure that you're creating these. But many of you are like, well, how in the heck are you creating this? Um, well, I'm going to kind of show you how or what I use Pick Monkey for and how I use it. And then, I mean, I'm like, as many tutorials as they have on the website, I mean, it's crazy endless what you can do with this particular software, but it is not an app. So it's not an app you can actually download to your phone. You must be on a desktop to um, play with PicMonkey. And at first I was kind of skeptical on, oh, I don't know if I want to do that because it is a paid membership. So PicMonkey is for, uh, let's see, I wrote it down. It's $4.99 a month if you do a monthly subscription. But I do the yearly subscription. It's $33, which is a discounted. And if you pay it for the full year, it's discounted to $275 a month. Uh, there are a couple of other um, uh, platforms out there. Canva.com is another one. But I haven't actually played a lot in Canva, so I, I couldn't tell you. But PicMonkey is my go-to for my graphics. Um, what do I use my graphics for? So I'm going to screen share with you guys uh desktop so tell me somebody um tell me if you can see my screen yes yes you can see it yes right, cool so i'm gonna minimize you guys here okay so i have open well i thought i had open uh yeah i think i do okay so i have open so if you look at this this is my um youtube channel and this i created this in pick monkey this banner this youtube banner right here if you look here at all my thumbnails, which is what a thumbnail is, this doesn't have a thumbnail, this has a thumbnail. So basically, on YouTube, you create more engagement when you have a picture, because which one of these are you more likely to click on? This one that has wording that's bright, that eye ca that's eye-catchy. That's basically what I'm trying to uh, let you guys understand, is that when you have a graphic, it's eye-catchy. So, um, these are thumbnails, and this is another big thing that I use PicMonkey for. Um, let me see if I can go, sorry, if I can go to my Instagram. So you guys can see, this is another one that I create. Again, I want to brand myself apart from, um, from other people that are out there. Um, so if you look at my Instagram, Almost every picture that I post, it's an actual graphic. Do you see how it has my website down here? And it's very uh, small, but nonetheless, all of my um, graphics that I make have my website. And these are graphics that I make because they stand out. They are not something that I just caught. I mean, some things, yeah, I will grab if I don't have a chance to make any that particular week. But for the most part, you'll see that all of my posts, um, most of all of my posts, 
uh, have my website on them. You see how this has my website? Um, because I want to set myself apart. I don't, I don't want to do this. I made it all in pick monkey. Um, so I guess that's kind of what I want you to understand is that you want to set yourself apart. You don't want to keep on using what everybody else is using. And that's why it's so important to create graphics. So you see everything that I have, um, or most everything, you know, has my website down here. So what you have to understand is the way I use PicMonkey is um, I will go, and this is something that I created early, early on. I think, uh, let's see, let's go into PicMonkey now. Okay, so here's PicMonkey. This is basically the home page, right? And again, you can, when you go in, if you create an account and if you want to use this, um, you can go in, maybe you want to try it for a month and pay the $4.99 to see how well you use it or how you use it. Um, and you can do that. And then once you like it, if you see that you like it and you actually use it, then you could just, you know, take the leap and maybe on one of your paychecks, your sense of paychecks, you can pay the $33 for the full year. But there is a ton of things you can do. So what I'm going to do uh, right now is I'm going to just kind of go in and show you a little bit of what I do. So you have the edit feature, right? So this is if you want to edit any pre-existing photo that is on your computer, that's in your Dropbox, that's on Facebook. You can grab from any one of these areas. Um, you, This one right here, it's a photo to, like if you choose a photo to touch up. So these are more like maybe your selfies and you want to, you know, reduce the red eye or you want to whiten the teeth. You can do that here. I don't really use that uh, much because I haven't played with it. So here is the main thing that I use. This one and this one and this one. So this is um, a blank canvas. So this is when you're wanting to start a brand new, you know, from scratch um, pick. So my YouTube banner, this is the way I started it right here. Um, and so let me just, I'm going to go ahead and do one. So if you want it just to be square, you can start here. If you want to do a Facebook cover, these dimensions are already saved for you. If you're wanting to do a postcard that is four by six, so you get the just, you keep on going up, right? This one is custom. I use this one a lot. Okay, so here you can create your dimensions that you want. Now, you're probably saying, well, how do I know what that is? So many of us fail to try to figure out the answer, but none, none of this was given to me. Now, the only thing I was introduced to Pick Monkey by um, another one of our... Uh, people that we uh, learned from, but I didn't know what the dimensions of a YouTube banner were, but guess what? Google does. So, crap. I had to Google that. If you don't know, guys, find the answer. So if you go here, you'll see to create a YouTube banner, it is 2560 by 1440. So guess what? When I went into my pick monkey, this is what I put here. So I'm going to create, I'm just going to sh show you guys how I created a thumbnail. A thumbnail, dimensions for a thumbnail are this. And I already have it memorized because I do them a lot. So again, if you didn't know what a thumbnail was, you could go Google it. If you didn't know what um, size it was, you could go Google it. So, okay. So I'm going to start creating one here. So this is my, my can y'all hear me? That sounds weird. Um, these are my dimensions, and I'm going to go to make it, okay? So this is your blank canvas, okay? So here's where you're going to start doing, uh, building your graphic. Now, if you look here, I'm just going to go up this sidebar, which is um, basically how you create everything. These are themes. So you can do different things with that. Um, let's see. This is um, textures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with, which is what I normally do, is this. So my canvas color. What do you want this whole background color to be? So you can change it here by just going through there. Uh, you can, if this is a hue that you like and you want to make it darker, you can go here. 
So I'm just going now. This is what's called a hex color, a hex code. I'm sorry. And I already have a particular purple that I use for all of my anything that's purple. And I have that notated. So I have it in my notes under my hex colors for my pick monkey. So I can just type that in because I already know it. Hit tab and there's my purple. Okay. So I'm going to click apply. You have to click apply for it to save. Now, I want this because I do one that has that has an actual border around it. Okay, so you can go to here is your borders tab. So you can play with these, and and you're and that's basically what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to go in here and you're gonna have to play with it. You um, can see this now. None of this applies until you click apply. Now here, maybe I'm going to go into here and see what, you know, how, what different shapes they have. I really don't like that. So I'm going to cancel. I'm going to go up to here. So this is a film, a film edge. I don't like that. So I'm going to cancel. This is photo corners. I don't like that. I'm going to cancel. This is really one of the main ones that I use. And of course, you can always switch it out or change it out. So what I do is this has, if you see, there's an outer color, which is black currently, and there's an inner color, which is white. I am going to choose the outer color to be white. So this is white, okay? It makes that whole thing white. You want it thicker, you can do it thicker. You want it thinner, you can do it thinner, okay? Um, now, if you want to mess with this to make the corner radius go in or go out, you can do that. If you want the corners rounded, you know, however you want, you can mess with these areas. Now, this right here gives you a caption space. So if you want something that's going to go down here, you can mess with this. Okay? I, I don't. I keep that pretty um, simple. Oh, crap. See, I didn't click apply, so it didn't save. <laughs> there you go, learning. Okay. So I'm going to make this a little bit thicker and then I'm going to apply. So there we go. Now, uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to kind of show you how I created um, the, um, well, let me show you something on my actual wool. I'm going to show you the ones that I had already created. And then I'm going to uh, kind of show you how I did it here. So let's go. Okay. So here's, I, um, now we'll tell you that in my, um, okay, do you see this one right here? This is one that I use a lot. So this, if you see just how it is, I'm going to kind of show you how I created it in this. So here, again, these are the main things we go by. So I'm going to create a text box and I'm going to click add text box and I am going to create, I mean, click a font and the one that I normally use, where are you at? Where are you at? For my website. Uh, no, I don't think that one's good. Okay, well, we're just going to use that one for right now. Um, okay, so I click the font, right? So I'm going to go into the text box, and then this is where I put my website. Now, some uh, a little tip, which I'm not going to go into all of that, but what you want, don't ever put a website so big that that's the most, prominent thing you want to make your website very small because you're not trying to be salesy you just want to brand yourself with your website so don't make it like super big and crazy um and i depending on you know what the color is with my background i will apply whatever color i want there so we're gonna do this white okay now, some of the um, fonts, this one particular does not, but if these, these are grayed out, if they were not grayed out, you could mold it or you could italicize it. Here, you can shift the writing to the left, center it, shift it to the right. Here, if you wanted to make the, the text bigger, you could go by, you know, oh crap, that's not what I meant. You could 
up that there. You can make your font bigger that way. Or you can um, use the actual corners to make it bigger. Um, you can, you know, do it this way. However you want to create, you know, however big or small you want a particular text. Now, okay, so I'm going to keep this at the very bottom. That's where I normally post mine. And then I'm going to, I think up here I put, well, let me go ahead and enter and put something in what I want to show you guys. Um, let's see. So if you go to the butterfly, this is, you see how it says your overlays tab? tab? If you click there, you have several different overlays that PicMonkey offers you for free. If you're in the, uh, there's a free subscription, I believe, but if you want more, which will show you like the little crown shows that you're, this is a Royale feature. Um, because I am signed up for the paid subscription, I'm con that's considered the Royale feature. If you've seen those, then you wouldn't be able to do it with a free subscription. Um, but you have tons of these. I mean, there's, I mean, and it's crazy endless, like seriously. There's so much stuff you can put here. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you guys, or you can click overlays, and you could insert your own. So I'm going to insert my picture, which is, one that you guys have seen a lot. I know a lot of people are asking me about um, how I created it, which was, I think, one of these right here. But I have my picture already cut out with a transparent background. So I'm going to click that. It's going to put my picture here. Now, the image is going to be big, okay? So you can always, again, make anything bigger or smaller with this. Okay, you can, if you get this, you can flip the image the opposite way. You can flip the image upside down. If you're wanting to have it kind of slanted a little bit, you could turn the image here that way. But I'm just gonna kind of do this. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys just maybe what I would do to say, come follow me on Instagram. So. I'm gonna put this here, okay? And I'm going to insert, because these already have them saved. Um, and I wanna explain what a transparent image is for you guys. Now, I already have this one saved. So you see my Instagram round and I label it as transparent image. I'm gonna click that. My image is now in here. I'm gonna make it smaller, obviously. Now, of course, you can, you know, play with this and do whatever you want. You don't have to do, you know, I'm just showing you guys. Okay, so here, I'm going to put some text in here. I'm going to add a text, but because I like color and I like things to pop, I'm going to show you guys how to, let's see. Um... And I tell you, you just kind of play with it and then you will, I think it's overlays. Okay, overlays. So here, we're gonna go to banners. Okay, so if you click banners, I'm gonna insert this banner because I, this seems real bl bland and purple to me. Just, you know, it's a big old purple spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this here I'm gonna make it big. And this you can pull the edges off that way. <laughs> Crap, I can't seem to do that one. Okay. And I'm gonna show you how you can make this. Uh, okay, pull this that way. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this color. I want it to be pink. Okay. So I'm going to 
Let's click OK. And here I'm going to write some writing. I'm going to go back to text. I'm going to add a text box. I'm going to click this here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to click a font. And um, a good point to show you guys is when you, um, to create more dimension with your font, don't always use the same font. So whatever you're wanting to like really have people read really well, um, make it in a more legible font. So I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to say, come follow me on. Do what? Whatever's right there. Instagram. Okay. So what I'm Whatever's right there on the table. Yes. <laughs> can I hear you? Can y'all hear me too? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, I didn't know. Okay, so I'm gonna let's see. Okay, so <laughs> I wonder why Jessica was laughing. <laughs> so now I'm gonna make this. You can kind of track this, this out shit. if you want to make it bigger. You can do this. And then I want to change this color. Yeah, but I don't know if they could hear me. Change this to white. <laughs> see, I don't think Candy knows we can still hear her. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumped on because I had just got home. So I didn't know. Okay, so we're going to go <laughs> and I like to do what's called like a, 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 you can do a drop shadow, you can do a knockout, you can do an inner shadow, which is usually the one that I like. So I'm going to do an inner shadow and I'm going to say, come follow me on Instagram. Okay. Now, if you want to change, you can change that outer part, the outer um, color to whatever color you want to make it more le um, legible for them. So then let's see, what else was I gonna show you guys? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What was else was I gonna show you guys? Um, hey, Jessica, real quick, I'm sorry. I just, I just jumped on and I'm late, but how did you put the pictures on there? These? Yeah. Okay, so you go to the overlays, which is uh -huh. here, and then you're going to go to your own. Now, this picture I already had saved on my computer. Gotcha. So I'm gonna go to my computer. I have it in my Dropbox. Oh, okay. You would just go to whichever one, click it, and then click open, and it'll put, bring it it'll here. It'll pop it up there. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, now, uh, if you see, like, all of these images, what I want you to understand, what a transparent image is. So now I'm going to show you, like, I, I'm, an, I'm about to create a banner for my YouTube channel because as you've seen earlier, my YouTube channel, my banner was geared around the fall winter catalog. So I'm about to switch this out. But if you see here, all of these pictures right here, they're transparent images. So I'm able to place them. You see this picture right here was not a transparent image. It was a squared image which I still left it there because that was my picture to the side, but you wouldn't want these to be squared images. You want them to be transparent so you don't see anything else of the background of the picture. So, so it's like it just edges it. Exactly. Now, cool. there's a way you can create an image as a transparent image. I'm not going to go over that right now, but what you can do is you can go and when you're Googling, um, you can go and you can, let me just open this so I can show you guys. Um, you can go and you can, let's say, now the new catalog is so, the catalog is so new right now that obviously that one is not going to be, um, it's not going to be, it's not up yet because I already went and tried to search earlier. But if you go to, um, let's see, I, I'm going to show you how I found the other one. Sensi catalog transparent image. Okay, and when you go to images, uh, let's click on this. You see how these, the, it has these squares in the back? Mm -hmm. This is a transparent image. 
So when you download this and you put it into as an overlay into one of your graphics, you won't see any of this. You'll only see this. So that's how you know what a transparent image is. If you click on this one, this isn't transparent. If you click on this, this is a starter. Ah. You could insert in there that is already transparent. So you would see just the starter kit and you could put it wherever you want to put it. You see what I'm saying? So that's like, good to know. Yeah, this one is not. So if you're, you know, whatever type of image you want, yeah. you can just go and try to Google it as the transparent okay. image. Let's see. Um, okay, where was I at? How do you make your image transparent? Now, that's what I was going to say. Um, it is a little more difficult. Um, there are several apps. There's an app that I use on my phone. Um, it does take a little bit of time, and that's why I only have one of myself that I did because I didn't do any more. Um, but it, if, if, if you go to, like, eraser apps or things like that, you should be able to find it on Android and iOS. Um, <coughs> Let's see. Let's go back to what I to the one that I was doing. You know, where the heck? Was it? Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's see what. <coughs> There's some, another thing that I like to use a lot is the star effect, which is also an overlay because, of course, we do like the stars, um, sparkle stars. So you can click this, and then you will get this. So you can, you know, play around with it, put it up here if you want to create a little more, you know, pizzazz to your picture. Um, you can move it around. You can, um, you can use this eraser right here. And then, like, let's say you didn't want these that are really close to it. You can erase those. And just maybe have this one, these few that are not so close to the actual um, text. So you can use that. You can, um, let's say you didn't like this particular, oh, well, it's right now it's clicking the banner, but. Dang it. Okay, so right there, do you see how the difference is? Right there, it's clicking the banner. And then here, it's hovering over this. So you can actually go to delete that here or you can just click delete off of your keyboard. Um, now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so let me just show you what, how I, um, what I do because like I explained to you guys, this is not a program that is on an, in an app. So you have to be on your desktop to use it. So I'm not always at my desktop. 90% of, um, of what I do is from my phone. So what I did is, um, it was important for me because of what I was taught to create a theme for my particular brand and my were in the beginning were pink, purple, and green, yeah, which I still have my purple, but I'm gearing gold into all that. Now that's something you I have to know what you want to do. But what I did is I, I went and I created blank template. So I'm going to erase this. 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 And this right here was a blank template, right? And I would save it. All of this, I don't save on my personal computer. I save it to my Dropbox. So what I would list this as was purple template with white edge. That's what I would list it as. I would save it to my computer. It's already going to my Dropbox. I click save, okay? I created like 10 different ones of these uh, templates. And if you, I'm gonna show you. And these again, remember, I saved them to my Dropbox, okay? So these are here. If you go down, you'll see, I'm just gonna click on it to make it bigger and it's gonna go into the, okay? You see, this is another template. So I created this, and that template is in my Dropbox. I created, let me click on that. Um, I created, let me go to another one. I created um, this one, which is just a different color, a different way. It has a purple background, and again, it has my rock and that wax at the bottom. That one saved to my Dropbox. So I created several different ones 
that are just blank, right? So what I do is I have all of these saved in my Dropbox. And when I'm, you know, I pick a day that maybe I'm, you know, sitting at the doctor's office or I'm sitting at, you know, wherever. This is another one. Uh, and I'm sitting anywhere. And what I do is I just, I mean, I get inspiration from different areas. So I, I could be on Pinterest. I could see an awesome quote that I like. So what I do is since all of these are saved in my Dropbox, my Dropbox is connected to my phone. So I open this picture up in any app, which I use Photify a lot, and Rana hold Design. Up, hold Okay, so then I open one of these inside of the app. Hold on. Somebody is doing a vacuum in or something. Candy. Girl, it ain't me. I found the mute button. Don't be saying candy. <laughs> Crap. How about you? Oh, is down. Okay, so we are going to mute off. And uh, if you need to ask a question, just unmute. Um, can y'all, somebody, um, let me see. Ah, that's not what I want to do. Crystal, can, or who did I, Felicia, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, cool. So, um, so yes. Uh, let's see. That's not what I wanted to do. Where am I at? <laughs> I'm all jacked up. Hold on. Okay. So let me go back to, um. Where did it go? Let's go back to Pick Monkey. Okay. So what I do is I have um, a, a few other apps that I can just be on my phone somewhere. I pull these templates up in different colors, and then I will create my graphic. And I can put my quote on here, however it is, whatever it is that I want to do. And I can just, um, I can add text. I can add photos. I can add, you know, whatever it is that's in that app, and I can add it to this. Um, I mean, this is an endless amount of things that you can do with this. I mean, endless amount of things. Um, I'm going to show you another really quick, um, cool thing that you can do is, um, this is, so this was just basically editing a photo, um, or starting from a new canvas. Sorry. We did the design. We went to custom and we created the, the pixel, um, dimensions and we clicked to make it. Now, if you want to go edit here, and there's already a particular, like, you know, let's say I'm going to edit this. So this pops up. And then I can start doing whatever I, it is that I want to do. I can go here. I can add a text box. I can say, um, I don't know, um, put a quote, a specific quote on here. And, you know, I can do whatever it is that you know i i talked about a while ago to do but another quick that cool thing that you can do with this is um so that's the edit this that's the design but then you also have a collage um that you can use now let me see i, I learned how to do this earlier which was pretty cool but i need to find a good picture to do it with um mm, slow down thing okay so I know many of you have asked me how I do my, um, crap, where is it at? Um, <laughs> Candy, you're crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, where is it at? I created this earlier because I do this a lot in my um, Rana app that I act. Okay, so let me just show you this. Okay, this was really cool because a lot of people, okay, so this was a particular, um, and I asked her for her, uh, for, dang it, I shouldn't have done it in that. Sorry, hold on, let me just show you how easily I, you can edit something. Um, because uh, another big YouTuber, I loved this and I wanted to use it as the, um, as the end of my YouTube videos. And I really, really liked it. And I asked her, you know, do you mind if I use it? Because you always want to give credit where credit is due. And if you're using something that you're going to change, ask to use it because it just only seems fair. So this was something that someone else had created and I absolutely loved it. Okay. But this had her 
website on it. So I was like, how the heck am I, you know, I couldn't just put my website down here, right? Because it was going to have hers. So the cool thing with this is that you could go to overlays. You can go to so exactly what I did. You can go to the banners part, which I use banners a lot. So you can go to banners. You can insert a banner here. I put this here. I did this. I minimized it. Sorry, hold on. We're going to get this right. Um, and sometimes, you know, you just have to play with it. I think what I ended up doing was it wasn't going to work like that. Now I remember what I did. So I did this, right? Because I don't want to cover up the whole picture. So this is just goes to show you that sometimes you just have to, um, let's see, what did I do? Um, I clicked, uh, duplicate overlay. So we already have, I already have this, right? And then I right click to do that. So I have this and I'm just going to change this to the pink color, right? That I had in there. And then I need it to cover the rest of this. So what I did is I right clicked it and I did duplicate overlay. So there's a whole nother one right here. And I just went and I attached this here because everything is already the correct size. I went up here to my text. I added a text box. My text box is here. I inserted my website. And to just get that the right size, I stretched it out and I turned it white because you want to, and there you go. Now you covered up that website and you were able to put yours in there without having to create this whole thing again. So that is another really cool thing that, I mean, you just have to, go in and just you have to play with it i mean you really 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 have to play with it i mean you can literally do so much with this i mean it's crazy like um if you let me see let me show you another um another cool thing that i learned how to do and i will probably this will be the last thing so i'll just kind of show you guys um and and it just goes to show you so the collage right so i'm gonna just pick now here I'm going to click my photos that are on my phone. Um, and I'm just going to click maybe this one because I have a crazy thing on my cheek. Okay. So here we have this and I'm going to drag this here. Okay. And then I'm going to delete this because I want to create a mirror image. Now I can click autofill because it's going to fill what this is already in with this. Okay. Oh, no, that's not. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to drag this, and we're going to click that there. Okay, now, if you click on this, you can hit edit. You can flip this like that, right? Because I know many of you have seen where they create something that has a mirrored image. This is not the best picture to do that with, but I just wanted to show you. If you click right here, um, you can adjust the spacing. So there you go. And you have an image that is like, I mean, <laughs> this isn't the best image to do that with, but it's a cool different, I mean, you could do a warmer like this, you know, or you could do a diffuser and, you know, connect them back to back, or you could do um, a quote that is connected like that. You want to just set yourself apart with your graphics um, to what the norm is. And is it going to take a little bit of time to play with? Yes, it is. But that's okay because if you're really wanting to up um, your game, then this is what it's going to take. So let me exit out of here because I am on screen share. So, um, so now damn, even Pig Monkey called you boss. That what? I said even Pig Monkey called you boss. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's. 
I absolutely love Pick Monkey. I use it a lot. Um, my favorite thing is that I'm able to, uh, I'm able, how do I stop screen share? Stop sharing. Okay. So my favorite thing is that I'm able to um, download those to my Dropbox and then I can go on my phone. Watch, I'm just going to show you guys here because I know you can't see me. I was thinking about how I was going to do this, but I, I just couldn't. So can y'all see my screen at all? Does that look really crazy? Who is texting me? Okay. <laughs> Candy says she pays for the yearly membership and never used it. Candy, you tripping. Where do we get a website? Um, who asked that question? Linda? Okay, so this is a big step. And um, now you can always use your website, your Sensi website, .sensi.us. But if I can give you any tip on that, before you go out and buy a website, make sure that is what you want your website to be. Um, I wish that if I would have known now what, I mean, known then what I know now, um, I would have branded me, myself. I would have branded Jessica Villarreal. Um, I had already had all of my social media accounts. If you go and you look at my social media, I mean, everything is rocking that wax. Um, because you want to stay consistent. If you go and check all my social media sites, you'll see that for the most part, I try to use the same picture. If I switch the picture up, I'll go on one. I'll try to switch it up on all the rest of them. Because you want to brand yourself. You want people to know you. You want people to see you. Um, if you have a picture of your kids or you have a picture with a group of people, I would recommend you change that. Because um, if somebody's looking you up or trying to find you and they see five different people, how are they going to know who's you? They don't got a lot of time to be trying to say, okay, let me go research which one is her. No, they want to look at you. Um, I love my kids to death, but I'm running a business, and I want people to know who Jessica is. So my kids are not on my screensaver. I mean, are not on a lot of my, um, my business social media sites. Uh, what else? Um, Oh, for the website, you can go, one that I use, I went to godaddy.com, G-O-D-A-D-D-Y.com. I think I purchased my um, my URL for like $12 or $17. So it wasn't more than 20 bucks, I know that, for three years. So nobody else can use www.rockingthatwax.com but me. So whatever you want your website to be, you can go in and then you put it in there. It'll tell you if it's available and it'll tell you how much it is for a year, two years, three years, however long you want to keep it. Um, but that's what I did. Um, again, if I, if I would have known, I wish I would have, you know, used my name or um, I would have branded myself. If that's one tip that I could give you on that, uh, because you just, you just never know. And you know, sometimes when you're on social media sites or like on Periscope or whatever, um, or YouTube, I'm at Rockin' That Wax. So I wish I would have used my name so people can know who Rockin' That Wax is. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's what it was on everything. So I was just going to stay consistent and I used RockinThatWax.com. So it is what it is. Um, but yes, uh, does anybody, I'm going to, dang, I don't know if I should unmute everybody, should I? Well, maybe unmute yourself, and if you don't know how to unmute yourself, chat to me, and I will unmute you. But does anybody have any questions? I do. Who is I? Felicia. Okay, what's up, Felicia? Um, what do you use to do, like, to, to make the background transparent, like, on your picture? And, make like, different things that you do, that you use? Tell me again. Like, is there something that you, a specific, like, oh, website or app or something that you yeah. use to erase the background for pictures that aren't transparent? Yes, let me show you. I have it on here, and I didn't know the exact name. I mean, I'm on iOS, so I don't know about Android. I'm sh Most of them have. Yeah, them. I'm on iOS, too. But the one that I use is, uh, it's called Cut Me In. I don't know if you can see this, but... Mm crap you can't really see it right it's right it sounds like real white yeah it's called cut me in but if you go that's one that i have it's called cut me in 
on iOS. And then I think I have another one that's called Eraser something. Yes, it's just called Eraser. And it literally has an eraser on the outside with uh -huh. the checkered the checkered background, like I told you, you'll know that if it's a yes, checkered. I think I might have that one on my iPad. Yeah. Um, the one that you have that's called Cut Me In, is it the Cut Me In Pro? Yeah, I usually almost, up, every time there's an app, I will upgrade um, to okay. almost all the time. I'll try the light one out, and then if, it, if I feel like I need to upgrade it, I'll upgrade it to the Pro or whatever and spend the money. Um, okay. Will this be available to view again? I It's recording right now, so um, I can't tell you how quick it'll be up there, but I'll try my best to hurry up and put it up there. But yeah, I, I can um, upload it to my YouTube so you can um, look at it. <clears throat> You're welcome. Um, anybody else have any questions? Who felt like the training was um, something that you learned a lot from? I, like I, I took a lot away from it. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Oh, Sonia. This is Crystal. Crystal, Sonia. Awesome. Okay. Um, anybody, anybody else have any questions? I have a question. Okay, what's up? So if you um, make something on there or whatever, and then you've saved it to your Dropbox, so is it an image? So like if you want to do like, I don't know, some of the apps like Shutterfly or whatever, like to make postcards or whatever you do, you can, it'll be on an image on your camera roll and then you can just get it like printed out. Yep, exactly. And, and have you done it? And do they come out um, fairly you know how some stuff you do that and it's like blurry and you're like, oh, that's just not working, you know? Really pixelated. Um, I have, now I think with that question, it kind of goes in, if you're creating it on PicMonkey for the most part, it's um, high pixels. So I literally created one the other day that was through an app. And then I had already had some pictures that were saved to my phone that I had created through PicMonkey. And um, I'm glad that you just asked that question because um, I was uh, printing out some pictures that were for something else. It wasn't business-wise, but I printed those pictures out and then I happened to grab one or two extra that were from my camera roll that were for Scentsy because I just wanted to see how it came printed out and it came out totally fine. So, I mean, it was pretty clear, um, you know, clear enough for me to use what I wanted it to use, to, what I was thinking to use it for, I guess. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Go ahead, Felicia. What's up? I think that's Felicia. Yes. Okay. On uh, on the pick monkey, like when you're creating something, um, I'm learning it myself because I actually subscribe for the whole year, the annual thing. Mm -hmm. So um, I use it a lot. But one thing that I was curious to is like if you're working on something and you want to, like you can't actually save it, right? To actually go back to the same spot that you left off. Yeah. What you what you'll do is. You'll just save it just as you have it on your computer. Okay. And then when you go back in it, you can reopen it as that image. <clears throat> that now everything will already be all combined together, right? As a picture. But then you can upload that same picture and then keep on working off of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. But then like if you don't, if you want to change something like what the picture you, you upload, like that's, that's it, right? Yeah. I don't once know you save it, it's there. Yeah, I don't know okay. of any other way. Like, to keep it kind of open where it doesn't all combine together is what you're talking about? Yeah, kind of. That, I haven't found um, a way to do that, no. I was just curious. Yeah. <clears throat> and with PicMonkey, like, if let me just go in here and um, see if I can show you guys real quick. Um, I think it's absolutely worth $33 a year. I think it's very worth it. Now, if you're wanting to, and I say that I think it's super worth it if you're wanting to, um, if you're obviously on the call, I think you're wanting to learn to step your business up a notch, but uh, I think it's completely worth it because, I mean, $33 to something a month, like seriously, that if you're going to really step it up, it, it makes total sense to, to do it. But what I wanted to show you guys is um, <clears throat> I love it because if you go down here, every single tutorial that you could possibly think of, I mean, you can go through here. <coughs> but 
I went here and I learned how to do that mirror effect that I showed you guys. And it's like a two minute clip on how to do it. Um, retouching up photos, how to, um, look at this, how cool this is, how to do, uh, to make a double exposure picture. She has, it's her picture and then it's kind of the woods in the background, but you can bring those two together. Um, I mean, like it's super endless on what you can do. This one is real good when I started watching this, social media tips and tutorials, um, black and white uh, tutorials. Um, I mean, oh, this is one. I use this a lot right here on my actual phone through a Rana, my Rana design app, but text max. Test, text, math is awesome. Um, I created, let me just show you guys real quick, cause that, this is like, I'm addicted to this on my phone. Like if you see our um, uh, weekly post that I post on our Facebook page, like Motivational Monday or Tip Tuesday, I created those pictures through text mask. And I created one the other day that was, it said, um, crap, where did it go? Let me see photos. I just created it not that long ago. Um, but it had my kids' picture. All photos. Um, maybe not. <laughs> um, it had my kids' pictures and, no, oh, I think I saved it to my Dropbox. It had my kids' pictures and then in the back, but, but the wording was, dang, where's it at? Hold on. My, the um, text was my, my, my why, my reason, my everything. And then my kids' pictures was coming through that. So it was really cool. I wish I could show you guys. Where the heck is it at? Let me just. How do you your find on Facebook? Huh? It's on Facebook. What's on Facebook? That picture. No, that picture's not on Facebook. You're talking about the collage, but this one I hadn't put on Facebook because I just did it the other day. Um, let's see. Does anybody else have any other questions while we're still, while I'm doing this? Of course, you guys, I mean, I don't want to keep you too long, but. Um, I was actually going to say that the other good thing about um, subscribing annually is you actually get a whole month free before your subscription starts. Yeah, you're right. Because I don't think give you like a, um, a, a free period. Or, oh, look right here. Okay. So you see this picture right here. I don't know if you can see it really well, but it has my kids, right? And then I typed this wording, my why, my reason my everything. And if you can see my kids' pictures peeking through the background, that's te text mask, which worked hmm. really well. I loved it. It's so fun. This was very simple, but there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Anybody else have any questions? Hey, Jessica. Okay. Can you explain transparent again, like how you get the, um, the background erase, make the picture all transparent, all clear. Like I'm, I kind of, I think I kind of missed that. But can you explain it again? Yeah. So basically, um, <laughs> Chris, <clears throat> if you're wanting to create, let's say you go to sleep, Chris. <clears throat> Alma. <clears throat> <laughs> let's say like right now, right? Okay, good night. We have all of our. Um, all of our images that are on our resources tab, right? For the new cal for the new uh, catalog. So let's say you went and grabbed one off of there. Um, and actually, even with PicMonkey, there's a way you can create a transparent image. I haven't gotten that far yet, but believe me, if you go on YouTube and you Google create a transparent image through PicMonkey, it'll show you the tutorial how to do it. Um, okay. But there's different apps on your phone. There's, um, I know, I don't think Canva.com does transparent images, but I know PicMonkey does, um, and a lot of them offer your phone. Um, I know Adobe Photoshop does. I don't have Photoshop, so I don't use that, but if anybody does, um, you can create a transparent image. But basically what you're doing is you're going to erase everything in the background of that picture. So that does, it is a little harder to do, but you can do it. Um, 
But if there's, if you're trying, there's tons of transparent images that are already on Google. You can just Google them. Um, <clears throat> now, I don't know if you saw when I Googled the Scentsy catalog transparent. Because the fall has, you know, we've had that for so long, there's already a transparent image there for fall. But I Googled earlier because I wanted to show you and I wanted to use that in this, but there's not one for the new Scentsy Spring Summer 2016 catalog. So, okay. Um, but there's tons of transparent images, like all my images that I get to um, have people when I try to create a graphic for follow me on Periscope or follow me on Instagram or follow me on Snapchat, I'll Google Periscope image transparent. And then as long as it has the little gray and white checkered box behind it, then you know that's a transparent image. All right. Makes sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because it is kind of difficult to do those transparent images. Um, it takes a little time. So that's why I try to go see if I can find one online. And then if I can't, then I'll, you know, try to, obviously I wasn't going to find one with my picture online. So that's why I had to work on that one. But, uh, but yeah, I want to do some more. I just, I just haven't done it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording just because, but if anybody else has any questions, um, so I hope that you guys uh, watch this over again if you have to, but more importantly, I would definitely recommend subscribing to pickmonkey.com and either, you know, pay the one time $4.99 a month, see how you like it, and then if you think that you're not going to use it, don't use, don't pay for it, but if you think that you are, I, I had Pick Monkey. I was the same as you, Candy. I had Pick Monkey for a whole probably – I paid it for a whole full year and I never used it just till maybe about four or five months ago, I started using it and I resubscribed for the full year again. But, um, I did the same thing and I didn't even know until it just came out again, yeah. <laughs> but I even still had it. Exactly. I, um, but I use it so much now. Um, and the only reason why is because I, I started, I, I do another, um, social media mentoring program and, um, you know, graphics are so important for you to stand out uh, above, you know, your average consultant. So I had to, if I was wanting to really push my social media online and brand Jessica Villarreal, um, I had to do it. So I, I love making my graphics and having it connected to my Dropbox makes it super easy for me to um, create five or 10 graphics at a time on my phone through any app. And then you know, I'm able to post, you know, a, a quote or whatever. I do a lot of quotes. So I'm able to post those easily. I'll go for the week. One day when I'm doing something, I'll take a full hour and maybe just make 10 to 15 different graphics. And then I use them sporadically during the week or between a week or two. And then, um, you know, that brand, I mean, how many of you that are on the call have seen my graphics and you've wondered how I've done, I mean, have you, it, does it stand out to you? Mm hmm so, yeah. I mean, there you go. That just shows you that, you know, that that's something that's going to, um, that, you know, that's going to highlight you above an average consultant. You know what I mean? Okay. So peace. We'll see you later. But if you have any questions.